In my last tutorial, I showed you how to create a 3D model using the dimensions um, of a floor plan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import an AutoCAD floor plan directly into SketchUp. Um, it saves a lot of time uh, and you'll see how. So I'm going to follow the same procedure as before. I'm going to go to Camera, Standard Views, Top. And you'll see here uh, there is perspective on this camera, parallel projection, and that is a, a true uh, plan view or bird's eye view. I'm going to go to File, Import, and before I actually select uh, the drawing file, I'm going to go to Options and make sure that the units um, are in millimeters. You'll see here that uh, there's various options here, uh, but I use metric, which is millimeters, so that's fine. Click OK, double click on the drawing file. It's telling you that the you know information here about what's been imported. Click close and you can see here that this is what's been imported from the AutoCAD drawing file. There was actually two floor plans in that drawing file uh, of this one I don't need. When the AutoCAD drawing or the floor plan has been imported, it's imported as a component. Um, I'll talk about components later. Either way, um, I need to explode this um, so that I can do any, uh, you know, other editing or uh, manipulate the floor plan further. So I'm going to right click and click explode. And first of all, I'm going to highlight this entire floor plan and then press delete because I don't need that. I'm just going to zoom in and you'll notice that when the floor plan has come in, it's not actually on the origin. Uh, so I'm going to highlight it click my move tool, snap onto the end point there and move it forward so that it's actually right on the origin. Then what I'm going to do is delete the lines that I don't need, I don't need so I don't need uh, the door symbol. I'll just delete that. So just select those with the cursor and then press delete. And then I'm going to now you'll obviously see that no faces are apparent here because this is just the way it, it, it imports in from AutoCAD. But the minute I connect these lines, um, it actually does start um, creating faces. If I connect these two, then the entire model or floor plan has a, um, it now has faces. I'm going to delete that line again because I don't need it. I'm going to go to camera, perspective. I'm just going to orbit that slightly. Go to my push pull, select the area that I want to drag up, click on it, drag and type in 2400. And then connect these two. It automatically, um, a SketchUp will automatically fill this in every time, um, which is convenient because that's basically the ceiling. Um, but I don't really, you know, if I'm working on the 3D model, I don't want to see that. A quick way to deal with that is to right click and select hide, and it'll hide that ceiling for you, but it will always remain geometry. In order to get that back again, you go to view, hidden geometry. You'll see that it's been denoted here with this mesh click on that, right click on hide, and then it's back again. Right click, hide, and it's gone again. In order to get rid of that mesh, you need to go to view and click on hidden geometry because there's a tick beside it to say that it's always going to be visible. Click that again, and then the, the hidden geometry uh, won't be visible any longer. And that's basically how to import an AutoCAD floor plan.